Hello and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to share how I decorated my front porch for the fall season. I used everything that I have already had besides going to the local nursery and buying some beautiful florals. I love the mums on my front porch for fall so I'm going to share a bunch of stuff with you today and I hope you all enjoy it. So let's just go ahead and get right into today's video. So this is what I was working with before I did anything. I had it decorated for spring. I never got into the summer decor out here. It just gets way too hot. And quite honestly, I've been dealing with a lot of personal things lately. So it's been really hard to get into my videos and be creative. So I woke up and thought, I really wanna decorate this front porch space for fall. And I was really in the mood to do this and I had the motivation and I really got excited about it. And I know that it's kind of late if you're in the YouTube world because so many people have already shared these videos, but this is something that I woke up, wanted to do and wanted to share with you guys. And I hope it gives you some ideas, inspiration yourself. And um, yeah, I just really loved how it turned out. I really do not like going out and buying brand new decor items for every video that I make and you shouldn't feel that you need to do that either. So with my videos, I almost always try to share ways that you can reuse your decor pieces in different ways. If you've watched some of my videos, you will see that I do that a lot. So right now I'm just gonna clean up the area. I, over here, I this is actually a mum and it blooms beautifully every year, but it was just getting kind of um, not so pretty looking. So I ended up just pulling the whole thing out. Over here in this corner, I have an absolutely gorgeous rose bush, and the blooms on this rose bush smell absolutely amazing, but it was getting a little too tall and hanging over, so I had to trim that up a little bit. And once I am done cleaning up the dead bushes and trimming up that rose bush, I'm gonna take my blower and just get rid of all that dirt and dust that's been sitting on my front porch blow that away with a blower and then I'm going to take my hose and just get rid of all those spider webs and dirt that's kind of accumulated on this area over here and then after that I'm going to take a broom and kind of get rid of that excess water and it did dry up fairly quickly but I just wanted to make sure everything was nice and clean before I brought my decorations out. I normally don't like putting faux florals on my front porch or outside, but sometimes you just have to do it because I have a problem remembering to water and this is the one pot that does not have a drip hooked up to it. So I'm gonna go with some faux flowers and these just look absolutely beautiful and they work. They work for me and it makes my life so much easier and they stay looking beautiful until I decide I wanna put them away. 
I was really loving that yellow color for this space so I went to my local nursery and I found some really pretty yellow and gold colored mums and I believe these were only four dollars and change per pot so I thought that was a really good deal and I'm just adding them to this pot over here that already has a drip hooked up to it and I can't wait to see how big these are gonna get I just think they are so pretty and I love that it has a pop of yellow over here in this corner. I have a question for you. So do you ever take a photo and then later you look back at the picture and you're like, oh wow, I did not notice that before. Or maybe you take a video of something and later you go back and watch it and you're like, oh wow, I didn't notice that. Well, something very terrifying happens to me while I am planting these flowers and I didn't even know until I went back and was doing my editing. If you know me, I am deathly afraid of spiders and what happens is the most scariest thing and I cannot get it out of my head. So right here, look down at the bottom on the right side and you can see a black widow that is crawling out from, it must have been underneath the lip of the pot but it was right by my hand and I don't think I can get this vision out of my head. I am just so thankful that it did not bite me. We're gonna head on into the backyard for just a few minutes because I bought some extra flowers that I wanted to plant in a few of these pots that I have out here, like this one. It's kind of lopsided with what I had in here. I had some snapdragons that were absolutely beautiful but they ended up dying so I decided to plant some more florals that are going to cascade over the edge and I think this is like a petunia um, they were called something bell maybe some of you guys know exactly what it's called but it's like a really pretty miniature petunia and then I have some beautiful pansies I love when you can start planting pansies because they're one of my little favorite flowers that I just love planting in pots and um, outside and stuff. But these were a beautiful burgundy color, so I'm gonna add a few of those to this pot as well. I definitely spend more time in my backyard than my front and I love looking at beautiful blooms. So I do have more potted flowers in my backyard, but sometimes it's really hard to remember to water everything. I really want to send out a huge thank you to Rainpoint for sponsoring today's video because their product has been so helpful to me and I am so excited to share it with you as well. Rainpoint is all about making your gardening experience hassle-free and efficient. What sets them apart is their cutting edge app that allows you to control your watering system right from your phone. 
Imagine being able to customize your watering schedule, monitor moisture levels, and make adjustments all with just a few taps. I've personally been using Rainpoint for a while now, and it's been a game changer for me. So no more guesswork or manual adjustments. It's like having a smart garden assistant right in my pocket. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or just starting out, Rainpoint is designed to make your life so much easier. And let me tell you, it's incredibly user-friendly. If you're as excited as I am, I've left a link in my description below where you can learn more and get your hands on a Rainpoint system. Trust me, your plants will thank you for it. I also have a coupon code for some discounts and you will just really love this. So check out the link in my description box. I'm done planting flowers. Thankfully, I don't have to deal with any more spiders, but I am gonna head on back to the front porch and finish decorating this space over here, and I am going to be layering some rugs. I have this bottom piece that I found at Target a few years ago. I believe this top mat was found at Target as well. I love that it says, so happy you're here, because honestly, I am so happy that all of you are here watching today's video. This door needed a wreath, and I am always kind of tired of using the same one over and over again. I love taking them apart, making something new without buying anything. So I had this wreath that I did have some florals on it, and I just took them all out, and I'm taking some of my other fall florals, these beautiful leaves I found at Target. I believe it was last year and I'm just gonna take them apart and kind of weave them in at the bottom and then I really wanted to add yellow just to kind of tie that yellow in up here on the door so I just did some yellow and burgundy and I thought they looked beautiful together and it was very simple and extremely easy to do and that was it and I didn't glue anything or use floral wire to kind of secure anything in there because they were stuck in there really well and like I said I love taking these apart and just using what I already have and just kind of making things look a little new by making it look different Over here on this bench, I just wanted to cozy it up just a tad, and I'm using some sweater pillows that I found at Home Goods a few years ago, and I just love how soft and fluffy these are. Over here, I wanted to add some lanterns. These are battery operated candles that I have in here. And then I'm gonna add some pumpkins and make it look very fall festive. After taking a quick step back, I felt like it needed something just a little bit more, and I brought a basket that I had from inside, outside, and then these are some more fall leaves that I have had for a couple years now, and I'm just adding those into this basket, tying everything all together, and I am loving the vibe that I got going over here on the front porch.
that is it for today's video. I loved how everything turned out. I hope you did as well. And I hope that this brought you some inspiration and gave you some ideas. If you were looking to decorate your front porch for the fall season, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today. And I hope that you consider subscribing. If you haven't already, just hit that red subscribe button. Follow the links down in my description box. And I will see you all in my next video. I hope you guys all have an amazing day. I will see you later. Bye.